This is News Trail, your daily dose. Welcome to News Trail this Tuesday, 2nd April 2024. I am Adetola Coyote. President Bola Tinubu is set to attend the inauguration of Senegal's president-elect Bashiru Diomaye Faye in Dakar, the capital. The president's trip is at the invitation of the Republic of Senegal and as chairman of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, authority of heads of state and government, President Tinubu will join other regional leaders to witness the inauguration. He will be accompanied on the trip by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Yusuf Tugar, and other Senior government officials. When 44 year old Faye is sworn in on Tuesday, he will become Senegal's fifth and youngest president since independence from France in 1960, and perhaps the youngest elected African president. President Bola Tinubu is expected to return to Nigeria after the conclusion of the inauguration. The federal government is making moves to enhance healthcare delivery to Nigerians with the disbursement of 25 billion naira to the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency and the National Health Insurance Authority. Coordinating Minister of Health and Social Welfare Ali Pati says the present administration is committed to transforming the healthcare system to attain universal health coverage for Nigerians. According to him, deliberating on the advancement of Nigeria's primary healthcare delivery through a sector wide approach swap. The assessment reveals the need for reforms in the Basic Health Care Provision Fund, its programs, operations, fiduciary system of accountability and public trust, adding that all states and federal capital territory have committed to a remediation plan pledging to improve health services for Nigerians. A number of aid workers, including an Australian and two people said to be British and Polish, have been killed in Gaza in what the charity founder said was an Israeli attack. World Central Kitchen founder and chef Yossi Andres said his staff had been killed in an IDF airstrike. Gaza's Hamas run media office also blamed Israel. The alleged strike could not be verified independently. Israel's military said it was conducting a thorough review. A medical source at Al Aqsa. A hospital in central Gaza says the bodies of the four workers and their Palestinian driver had been brought to the hospital after a car they were traveling in on the coastal road was hit by an airstrike at Deir al-Bala. Further details of the alleged attack are still emerging. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese says Anthony Albanese has confirmed that aid worker Lalzomi Zomi Frankum was among those killed and has offered his condolences to family and friends. And that's it on your show for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. Have a fantastic working week.